What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, I'm going to give you five grown and sexy fragrances, but this is going to be more of an expensive list. This is going to be designer exclusives, but also maybe a little bit of niche. However, these are all affordable, except for maybe number three. Number three is going to come with a bit of more of a price tag, but you can actually get a 50 ml for a relatively decent price of like anywhere from like 120 to 140. I think it's worth it. Fragrance number one is going to be Hugo Boss Wool and Musk from the collection line. This was released in 2011 and unfortunately this entire lineup is discontinued. You can still get these online like FragranceNet and PerfumeOnline.ca for like any, anywhere from like $60 to $100 Canadian. I ended up getting this one but also number two on PerfumeOnline.ca but this one here is very simple. It only has three notes. Musk, Cinnamon and Sandalwood. It's a musky, woody scent with some more spices. That's all it is. It is a unisex scent, or it's marketed towards the unisex, but I find that this dives more towards the guys out there. For me, this comes across as a bit of a man's man scent. It's elegant, and it's definitely for the grown and sexy. You have to wear this with a suit and tie, but also with a sense of style. When I wear this, I feel phenomenal. I feel classy, I feel grown and I feel mature, and I definitely feel a lot more confident. If you wear this with a suit and tie, muah, it will definitely go well with that. This is fall and winter. These are all fall and winter. And performance on this, to be fair, I only wore this bottle one time. I ended up doing a review of this on Alcatraz with a sample so many years ago when I was in San Francisco. That, that video was Horrible, and I will be doing a video of this, but also fragrance number two, so I will be doing a remix. But from the one wearing was about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number two is going to be Hugo Boss Velvet and Amber from the collection line. I'm going to Scent Explore in about a month's time, so I will be bringing these with me, so stay tuned for future videos. And just like the Woolen Musk, this one here only has three notes resins, amber, and vanilla. It's very much like the name Velvet and Amber. It's an ambery, vanilla scent with a powdery undertone. Phenomenal. This is unisex, but it dives more towards the ladies this time around, and this will definitely go very well with a suit and tie as it's a modern day gentleman's fragrance. But definitely, if you're a woman who wants to wear this, a ball gown or that sense of style, this will smell so incredibly good on you. If you wear like a night, like a like a ball gown to like a nice formal event, this has some sexiness, but it has a lot of class to it. Longevity, I wore this one time, just like the Wool and Musk, was crazy, it was like 10 plus hours. I ended up doing a video, a sample review with Lanyard and Sebastian when I was in San Francisco so many years ago. I miss San Fran, I really do. But this one here, sense of style, formal, sexy, but classy. Fragrance number three, I plugged this brand hard back in the day. Ferragamo La Comedia. So this is from their Tuscan Soul line. This line just never got, like never caught on in Ferragamo. I'm pretty much the only guy for the most part that's talked about it. This is considered a unisex scent or it's marketed towards the unisex. Not in my opinion. This leans a lot more towards the guys this time around. It's got pimento, cinnamon, nutmeg, vetiver, sandalwood, and I believe it has maybe some mandarin or some lemon, uh, maybe like a citrus. What it is, it's a warm spicy bomb with woods. It's saffron, then cinnamon, then nutmeg, if you wanna go by like the order of the spices. But it's just a warm spicy with woods. It's a man's man scent that is so incredibly warm. It's sexy, but Lord, is it classy. This will go very well with a sense of style. More than this, you could wear it like this, but if you wear a tuxedo, like tuxedo on, on men, even suits, is lingerie for women. Like, like us guys, we're visual. All we need is like a naked body and we're good to go. But if you wear a nice tailored suit or a tuxedo, that's lingerie for a woman. This will, like, this will amplify your sexiness. If you, if you wear this on a night out, make sure it's a classy night out, a nice banquet, a function some sort of events. You can wear it to work if you want because it does have that classiness, but you have to watch your applications as this is a bit of a bomb. I would say no more than two to three sprays and you're good to go. And longevity, solid. It's about seven to nine hours. 
For the last two fragrances, let's talk about niche. Fragrance number four might be like high level designer, and I can understand why, but this is a brand that I plug hard, like the Ferragamo, but, but nowadays I consider myself the unpaid shell Bond bitch. Bond number nine is Cooper Square. This has like rum or cognac, it's got juniper berries, lavender. It's a, like a barbershop scent, like a vintage barbershop that's modern. Oh yeah, classical, but with a modern twist. It's also got like other spices, labdamum and cashmere wood with maybe some cedar or sandalwood. This is marketed as a unisex scent. When it comes to bond number nine, I'm, I'm the expert when it comes to bond. Well, not so much, I'm not really an expert. But I've smelled a lot from this brand and out of my entire catalog when it comes to YouTube, I've talked about this brand the most. That's how much I love it. Their unisex scents generally dive more towards the ladies. This one dives more towards the guys this time around. Like I'm talking like 60 plus percent, like 60, 70, even 80. If you're a woman who's comfortable and confident in wearing this, then wear it. But for me, this is a gentleman's fragrance. A modern day gentleman with old fashioned values. That's what this fragrance is. It's classy but sexy and longevity is good with seven to nine hours. And fragrance number five, this one here. The whole brand don't get any mention unless it's my channel. There have been other channels out there who have talked about them every now and then, but they haven't covered the brand like moi, Atkinson's. This brand, if you get them online, they produce some great affordable niche fragrances at a good price tag and good quality. But that one's gonna be Atkinson's Amber Empire for number five. This here has vanilla. It's got myrrh, oolong tea, incense, sandalwood, and so on. What it is, it's in the air because this is take number two. What it is, it's a creamy vanilla and revive with a little bit of a smoky incense. It's not overly incensey, surprisingly. That is powdery. This scent comes across as quite feminine, but it's one that I enjoy. Depending on where you look, some sites will say it's unisex, while some will say it's just for the ladies out there. For me, this definitely leans way more towards the ladies, like 70, 80, in my opinion. But I'm comfortable enough to wear it. If you don't like powdery fragrances, this is one that you're probably not gonna like. But this is vanillic, sweet vanillic, ambery, powdery scent that is just oh so sexy, but oh so classy. It's a modern day gentleman. If you, if you like this type of fragrance, you are definitely a modern day gentleman. So again, someone who's well polished, well manicured, well dressed, well, all that kind of jazz. But ladies, if you wear this with a, like a nice sense of style or a ball cap, oh, you are gonna get a lot of attention. And longevity off this is solid with eight to nine hours. And that's it, that is five grown and sexy fragrances, designer exclusive or niche. More expensive, okay? But these fragrances here, like even though that they are like considered exclusives or niche, they're are they're all affordable. You can get this. This ranges anywhere from like 110 to 140. I got this for like 120 to 125 off of. It was either perfumeonline.ca or Fragbuy. Just look into it. I know that a 100 ml is going to cost you a lot more, but a 50 ml is all you need. If you like this very video. Leave me one of these. What videos to watch next? Well, whatever pops up right here. Any reviews that I've talked about on these, they will all be down in the description box below. And thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.